So as you can see, in the diagram, it gives you information regarding the height of the building and the distance where first we need to extract information the question gave you symbol of you here the arrow is straight horizontally therefore this projectile is horizontal projectile or half projectile okay from this automatically you can know the ux and ui okay so ux is basically you here okay so write down you and ui automatically is equal to zero and then at is the horizontal distance as x the sy is 65 but the value is negative if you compare the initial point and the final point the final is below the initial therefore the s here should be negative but a it asks you to find time of flight it means from here up to here we do the suva analysis so SY we have negative 65 meter. So SY, UY. UY, we don't have AY always equals to negative 1.81. Sine is what we're going to find. We don't have V, the most suitable one without V. So this one. S equals to U squared. Make sure you level every vector. SY equals to negative 65, UI is 0 to 4. When you rearrange the equation, you will get 3.64 seconds. Part B, it asks you to find an in initial velocity of the ball, which, is, which means U here. But you know, U is basically UX. So the question asks you to find UX. Do the SUVA analysis. Since we want to find x, ux, therefore we need to consider x component for all. As x equals to 80 meter, ux is what we're going to find. Vx always equals to ux. Ax is equal to 0 and time is 3.64 which we obtain from part A. The most suitable equation is the last one okay. remember to level each okay substitute ux is what we're going to find which is u t is 3.640 s s is 80 so once you have a range you will get u equals to 21.98 meters for part C it asks you velocity just before the ball hits the ground it means that it asks you to find the velocity here we need to resolve it to Vx and Vy ok, let's angle here so since we resolve it, in order to find V we need to use this equation Okay, this is how you do every time it asks you the velocity at this point. Vx is always equals to ux, which in this case equals to u, or define it, part b, 21.98. So now the problem is vy. So how are we going to find vy is by doing Suvat analysis. So as y, we have negative 65 ui 0 vy we're going to find we want to find ay equals to negative 9.81 time we have 3.64 second so we have all this information we want to find v so obviously the one way is v ignore this so we need to choose between this and this you may use both equation but as I mentioned before, choose the easier equation, okay, which is this one. Okay, v, so level everything. Vy is what we're going to find. 3.64. Okay. 35.71 meter per second. But this is the value for Vy. This is not the end. We need to substitute Vy in here and Vx in here. Therefore, V equals to 
square root of 21.98 plus negative 35.71 square and the answer is 41.93 take note this is negative look at here vy is downwards that's why it's negative but v here is a magnitude the value is positive okay so that's part c done part a b c thank you